Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crimes. Let me give you this one. Now, when my mother, Annie Mae, my father, all of them went to jail, me and Trisha had to run all of our apartment buildings and everything, right? So I used to get Courtney Brown to cash checks for me because he was he had a check cashing business, okay? And the key from running the bank and they the signature this and all that, and we had power of attorney and we had the right to cash the checks, but you know how some people are still assholes. So Courtney would cash a lot of checks for me without questions. Is that your mother's signature? None of that, okay? So Courtney had been cashing checks for us the whole time my mother and Annie Mae and my father and them was in jail from the buildings we had. We had Oakman, Geneva, and we had uh, Six Mile, okay? So Courtney is cashing checks for us, right? Now, here's a true story. My mother and Annie Mae get out of jail. The building gets closed down on Geneva, okay? It's closed down now. Now I'm still running from there, getting all my customers and everything from there, running my, biz my business. I was in my red Buick. So I'm hustling like a motherfucker now. I'm selling about, honestly, $10,000 worth of dimes, $10 dimes every day at this point, okay? And I'm riding my red Buick around Highland Park and I'm knocking them off. And at this point, I'm getting the cane from Demetrius now, okay? So, I'm riding around knocking them off. This FBI officer comes to the building looking for me. And he asked customers who was walking around there, walking around the building, trying to catch me and look for me. Did they know who Eddie Jackson was? Did they know how he could contact me? What? The FBI, okay. He left a message there. He left a card with the customers. He said, if y'all happen to see Eddie Jackson, give him this card, okay? This is, I swear to God, this is a true story. Now, I go somewhere else. Anywhere I would go, he had been there looking for me. This is an FBI officer, and he is determined to track me down. Now, all the time, he's trying to track me down I'm riding around Highland Park in my red Buick selling about $10,000 worth of dime stones and about that many dime blows, okay? I'm riding around Highland Park. The people that already told me he's looking for me. So after they tell me that, I pull on, circle on, I'll circle and let him leave. And I, we go get something to eat. We might have went, we was eating this at this waffle place on the boulevard. Not the, the breakfast house you're talking about now, but it used to be a place on the boulevard that had hell of a waffles. Me and Trisha took off and went there to eat. Then we came back and started riding back around serving our customers, okay? And everybody, y'all know it was the FBI here looking for you, Eddie. You know it was here. Okay, now I leave there and I go somewhere else. He had been there everywhere he could possibly think he could find me. He was looking now. This is what he was doing. So he decided... He was my, my mother and Annie Mae had just got out of jail and they was living in a two family flat, okay? He went to their house, now check this out. He went to my aunt's Annie Mae house. He's standing in there telling her, we need to find Eddie Jackson Jr. He's not in no trouble or nothing, but we got to find him right now. It is imperative that we find him and we're gonna keep looking for him until we find him. So if you know him, please, can you call him or anything? At this time, beepers was the things. It wasn't no cell phone. We was using beepers. My aunt, aunt Annie Mae, beat me and said, Eddie, it's a FBI. Now my mother is there too. It's an FBI officer here looking for you. He said, you're not in no trouble, but he needs you to come here and talk to him right now, can you? Now, my Aunt Annie Mae is about, honestly, two miles away at this point. I'm in Highland Park circling, selling dope. So you know my heart is beating like this because I'm selling dope like a motherfucker now, and he's looking for me, and I'm trying, oh, my God, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Now, check this part of the story out just to let y'all know how funny this shit really is. My Aunt Annie Mae had a two-family flat, okay? Now, my mother was upstairs and my aunt was downstairs, but at this time, 
They were both living downstairs. I got 10 keys stashed upstairs. And this goddamn fed is in any man house looking for me. So now you know my goddamn heart beating at 200 miles an hour. Because I got 10 keys upstairs in the goddamn attic stash. And this motherfucker standing at any man's house talking about he got to see me, goddamn it. So I swung by my grandfather's house. At this time, he lived right behind Henry Ford Hospital. I went by there, and I took all the dope and all the money I had on me. I said, okay, I took all my shit off me. I'm going to go here clean, so if these motherfuckers jump on me, I ain't got nothing, okay? I dropped all the dope and the money off of my grandfather's house. He lived right behind Henry Ford, and he may lived about three, four miles from there. And I shot on the enemy house. I whip up in the Buick. I pull up. I get out. I walk in the house. He looks at me. He says, are you Eddie Jackson Jr.? Yeah. And he showed me a list of every fucking check Courtney Brown had ever cashed for me while my mother and Annie Mae was in jail. Okay? He wants me. He wants to give me the money back from all of these checks which might total 20 grand. He wants to give me all of this back because he think Courtney has cashed them fraudulently. I look at him and say, no, he cashed them for me. He gonna say, well, how could he could have cashed them for you with your mother's signature and they were in jail? I say, I was sending it to my mother and she was sending them right back to us to cash. My mother say, yeah. The motherfucker looked at him and he said, look, man, I'm trying to give you all of this money back. It's 20000 or better for every check he cashed from all our buildings while my mother and Annie Mae was in jail. Now, he's there trying to get Courtney Brown Sr. This is who he's there because of. He's trying to nail Courtney Brown Sr. And he's showing me, he said, look, if all of these checks, I say, I guarantee you every check he cashed from me was legit. He said, them was the only goddamn legitimate checks he cashed out of every goddamn check he cashed. Yours is the only motherfucking legitimate ones. That motherfucking FBI officer stormed out of Annie Man house. He said, you sure you don't want this money? I said, man, the man legitimately cashed the checks for me. I would be wrong if I take that money. This motherfucker, now that show you how the feds are. He begged me to tell a goddamn lie on this man when this man legitimately cashed them checks for me. He begged me, and he said, I give you the money today. Every dollar on this paper, he had a long motherfucking list of checks. Now, this is two years. He said, you can have every dime of it back today if you just say he didn't cash these checks legitimately. I said, man, I can't do that. I ain't that type of guy. That motherfucker left there, y'all. I swear to God to y'all. If this motherfucker didn't turn red as my motherfucking bottom of my red bottom shoes, I am not lying to you. This motherfucker turned so red and steamed out of there, you can see the motherfucking smoke blowing out of the top of his motherfucking head and coming out of his motherfucking ears. What he didn't motherfucking realize was, bitch, I got 10 keys upstairs. I don't need that punk ass 20,000 you got, bitch. I'm selling 10 of this and 10 of that a day. What the fuck I need with 20,000 and put this man in jail for some bullshit because you got a beef with it. That just show you how niggas is. You know, I wouldn't sell that man out under no circumstances. And I want to say this to all of y'all. Like, share, and always you got to take a look at my ice and tea. It's a cold shake tea, you all. You put it in a bottle of water, you shake it up, you drink it, and it helps suppress your appetite. It helps you lose weight. And if you think I'm playing, take a look at Facebook. You will see my before and after pictures on Facebook. And as I say, thank you to everybody who spent any money with me. All you gotta do is hit link, hit shop, go to categories, health and wellness, and that's where you'll find my Harmony drop set. You drop two under your tongue, hold them under there for 60 seconds, and then swallow. That's also where you'll find my Alleviate Cream on that health and wellness. But remember this, you all, all of my products are CBD. All of them are that. So it's not just those three products. We have many more products. And I want to say to y'all, take the challenge.
We are five for five. Lose five pounds in five days. It's a total life challenge, a total life change, and life is good. I'm out of here, y'all. Have a good one. Peace and love.